to a, another commentary done by Diggity Bomb. Right in corner, we have Taengu, who is a, or Tai, I'll just call him. He's a top level Terran on the Korean ladder and S ranking up there. I think he's participated in a few professional things here and there, but he's still, I think, considered an amateur overall. Upper left hand corner, we have LC Need Money, aka Sulky, starting as the Blue Zerg. This is a match off the ladder recently, as of when I'm commentating this on the 27th of July. I think it was played like three days ago or so. And mostly I just wanted a game with Sulky in it because Sulky, very good Zerg, fun to watch. And I kind of wanted to get a look at uh, Tai just to see what he looks like. Tay? Tay? We'll go with Tay. Just see what he looked like just in case uh, I end up commentating him sometime in the near future. Maybe he'll end up in the. If I get an op, we'll see. I might get an opportunity to do the uh, New Worlds map contest commentating. I'm not sure if he's in that or not, but we'll see. Forward Barracks on eight from Tai. From Tay? From Tay. I need to make up my mind. Maybe to produce a quick Marine and punish a quick 12 hatchery. I don't think this is going to pay out simply because it is cross spawn. And I think with the cross spawn positions, even with a 12 hatchery, the Zerglings will be in position sufficient in sufficient time to punish anything. It'll be a follow up, but we'll see. Sometimes a quick Marine out in the field can catch an Overlord or things like that. And that can really be game changing. And it could be once every advantage you can get against a player of Sulky's caliber. We are in fact seeing the 12 hatchery. First, an SCV moving out to scout. And this will be the other critical thing is, is do the overlords get spotted where and when? Both SCVs making the way. Drone, is he gonna go cross scout? Looks like he might go cross scout. No, he's gonna go top right. Get the information from there. Spawning pool being dropped 204-ish extractor. First Marine cycling its way across. The drone might come across this Marine. Yep, spots it. So knows at least that some Marines are out in the field and looking to be aggressive. Which means we're probably going to see a larva save or maybe even a drone pool to help deal with this. SCV trying to, it's going to be two SCVs converging. Both of them want to try to get maybe a bunker up. Second Marine making its way across. We've got three drones now. To fight against this. If they can pick off the Marine, then get around the SCVs and pick off the Marine. They should be able to defend this. Overlord taking some damage. Now five drones off the line, hunting this down. Tay gonna go ahead and back off and first Marine isolated and killed by the drone. So one for one right there. Looks like there's already a transfer and some... Are there, are there Zerglings being produced? Some Zerglings being produced at the natural. Drones looking threatening. Just want to create like, yeah, kind of a, a corner advantage. Drawing... Tay to the south, it looks like. And they can just, yeah, go ahead and mosey on all the way around and let the Zerglings finish. So we got two Zerglings there. Four Zerglings should be sufficient. Now Tay gonna have to return to home base. Overall, I don't think that was a win. That's two SCVs that weren't really doing anything for quite a period of time. Yeah, they isolated drones for a bit, but that's 14 drones up fairly quickly. Four Zerglings forced instead of six. And Sulky just the king of defense right there building the absolute minimum per usual to defend it marines need to get underneath that barracks looks like a command center is being constructed behind this refinery up the single scv building gas academy and engineering bay to the corner i'm wondering if this is going to be a five racks opener as far as a follow-up scv wants to try to confirm information making its way back across it's at least gonna be it's probably gonna die as soon as it makes its way up there so yeah a few additional, whoop, maybe not. Still denied, and now being backed into a corner. Trying to make its way back out. But yeah, not getting a lot of information there and taking keeps of damage. Pretty decent saturation already. The natural layer morphing. And engineering bay up, plus one weapons being built. So I'm kind of curious because with all of the early game shenanigans, there weren't a lot of Marines that were produced. And the Marine, usually with this build, you need... So there's the, the barracks currently being constructed, but usually you need to build a lot of additional Marines the entire time behind this to get a sufficient defense force to deal with the Mutalisks. 
And right now the Spire is already constructing and I see three Marines out and two barracks being constructed. There's going to be, what, four? And some Zerglings out in the front as well. Sulky going to go ahead and grab that 12 o'clock location behind this. But this could be a, a pretty substantial Mutalisk attack. Three barracks in the main. Comsat at the natural expansion. Stim finished, plus one weapons, about halfway done. But yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about the, maybe there'll be some bonus turrets to try to defend this. Although Sulky dropping a fourth hatchery in the main rather than... So maybe not going to bother with the initial Mutalisk Karas, which is unfortunate because it really would have paid off. Comsat dropping is actually going to see the in-base hatchery to see the timing of it as well. And that might lead him to believe that there's no fourth hatchery there at the 12 o'clock location because this is a little bit atypical Zerg play overall. And so let's see if Tay play... Yeah, and he still doesn't have... So no medics. This would have been, honestly, if the Mutalisks were coming out right this second, I think this would have been a slaughter because there's like there's no medic support. Yeah, they have stim, but not a lot else. But this is eight Marines total. Fortunately for him, Sulky playing just a straight-up defensive game. So Mutalisks being created... But on a delay, usually you'll see them on the, like, on the, what was the timing, 204? Usually you'll see them hitting the base now. Turst just planning. It could be that there's the delay of everything, and I'm also not accounting for the early game shenanigans. So I think that's another aspect I'm not accounting for. But I think they also are coming out somewhat later. Because of the ops to get additional hatchery more than anything. But go figure. Anyway, ignore me potentially overall. Drones now saturating that 12 o'clock. Quick third gas. Everything moving standard. And it looks like Sulky may be wanting to just play this a little bit more defensively. Some Marines now scrambling out. That's four barracks overall. They have that plus one weapons finish. That's really going to negate the Mutal's ability to hammer this. Let's see if they've gotten vision on that. Some Zerglings are scrambling to the north. Although they're going to be fighting against the low ground. And Sulky kind of, yeah, missed an opportunity engage a lot of this. Manages to kill a straggler, but not a lot else. It's mostly just trying to limit movement. But interestingly enough... Ooh. Good kill there on the corner. Taynot just kind of pressing up towards his third, rather than kind of pushing out all that much further. And we're seeing a Hydralisk Den Lurker switchback as well, off the four hatcheries. Zergling's out there. The Marine checking top right, not finding anything. No additional Mutalisks being produced, or, and we we do have plus one weapons being upgraded overall. But right now, Sulky, I think, saying, okay, you gotta come to me. I'm just gonna macro like crazy, get Lurkers, few additional Mutalisks being produced, just gonna plant my Lurkers down. Now additional Mutalisks trying to join the fray. Maybe, kind of curious on the timing of that, if it's like, okay, let's have them join as plus one weapons is finishing. They'll have a full control group in not too long. Four barracks running, factory up. Starport dropping, everything looking pretty typical. To get the double starport science vessels out as rapidly as possible. Plus one weapon's going to finish shortly, and let's see if there's additional aggression behind that. Some Zerglings still to the north. It looks like they're going to engage the Marines. Tay looking for an angle, maybe towards that 12 o'clock, is going deep in territory here. The Mutalisks trying to engage. Some Lurkers actually morphing on the low ground. And now, pushing all the way up into that 12 o'clock location. The Mutalisk eating a lot of damage for free. That was a great play from Tay. So moving some Marines out, baiting the Mutalisks, and then getting some damage done. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to combine the attack forces, so ends up losing. Is just losing a lot of units. And is just now working on that extractor. It was kind of a nifty tick to get, uh, trick to get some free damage, and instead wasn't able to follow it up and keep that army bunched. And so... The drones were pulled off the line momentarily, but otherwise, Sulky in a strong defensive position, still sitting on the three gas and continuing to build Mutalus. He's got the Queen's Nest on the way. Tay immediately grabbing his third on the high ground, but Sulky not going to let him have it, moving immediately in with Lurkers, Zerglings, and Mutalisks. And repositioning the Lurkers on the edge of vision right there. The Science Vessel should be out shortly to help try to push them out, but it's, ooh, 
Never mind. Sulky getting very aggressive, continuing to press forward. Maybe feeling like the unit count is too small. And look at that micro. Man, Sulky it is strong. More Zerglings gathering up. Plus one weapons finished for sure on the Mutals this, at this stage. And this might be the, gen the game ending maneuver as three Lurkers pressing up. No Marines left. Zerglings flooding in. Looks like they're going to get on top of the barracks line. And that turret going to be wiped out. So we do have science vessels on the front, but this is still three lurkers at an advantage position on the low ground. And there's no irradiate finish yet. Zerglings also flooding in. SCV's dying and gas getting capped as well. And this is a total base breach. Now lurkers look like they're gonna be able to walk up right on top of the barracks line. And this is looking like a very early GG. As the Marines spawn, they're going to be spawning into Spines and Mutalisks overhead. Siege Tank caught in between. It's dead. Do we even have... I don't even know that uh, Irradiate's finished. Maybe there's an Irradiate coming. But this is now looking ugly. Okay, there's an Irradiate, but having to be utilized on the Lurkers rather than the Mutalisks. Factory's gone. Still producing a Ghost Siege Tank off that machine shop, but complete base breach right now. More units flooding forward, more lurkers making their way in. And this is kind of just a... This isn't even a full dedication here from Sulky. He's still got a lot of gas in the background, and he can, he's already teched the hive. So even if he doesn't wipe out Tay with what's left, he can easily just turn around, recover, make his way... This is basically game over from Terran, is basically what I'm saying here. Oof. Flood of blue coming across. Zerglings marching their way in. I wouldn't be shocked if Adrenal Upgrade if isn't that far from behind. Looking for Tay to give the GG. There's GG. Well played. Oof. Convincing victory overall. And Sulky showing why he's such a pro. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for listening.